Welcome back. Kutori villagers have opposed workers residing at the sewage project site. They have complained of improper sanitation and allege that the workers defecate in open. Villagers allege the serpent has given permission for the shed without obtaining required permissions from the TCP. However, contractor Malik Arjun said it is a temporary construction and will be vacated after sewage project is over. This is the construction site of PWD sewage project in Kurturi. Villagers of Kurturi are aggrieved as the workers engaged in the project have no proper sanitation and hence defecate in open. However, the contractor Malik Arjun says the shed and toilets are temporary. No, no, we have taken the, the, we have constructed the safety tank. Safety tank were constructed after taking the required permission from the health department and the toilets were constructed. Whenever urgency is there, that time only they will sleep. Otherwise, we have taken the quarters outside. Is temporary permission? These are temporary, only for, it's only project basic. Once this project is completed, then we will make it all. Residents are annoyed with the panchayat. They claim that Kurtori Panchayat is run by the corporates. Kurtori Panchayat is run by corporates. Residents said they would meet the BDO and the deputy collector for revoking license to a shed on agricultural land. Reporter Samir Bhatt for Prudent. Vaina Ravindra Bhavan was inaugurated on the eve of CM's birthday. Power Minister Milin Nai clarified that there won't be uh, political considerations while appointing the committee of the Ravindra Bhavan. Art and Culture Minister Dayanand Mandrikar criticized earlier government for constructing Kala Bhavan at Sankwal. He envisaged Film City in place of the Bhavan. <laughs> फिल्म सिटी जी The Akalop officials are satisfied with Goa's preparedness for next month's uh, Lusophonia Games. The top officials inspected the newly created as well as the upgraded infrastructure for the Games in the last three days. They congratulated the Goa government for delivering on its promise to provide world-class facilities for the Games to be held from January 18th to 29th. The Ecolop delegation visited Pede, Fatorda, Vasco, Pamore and University complex in Taligaon to see for themselves what Goa had come up with. And from every venue they left with a smile on their faces, congratulating the state authorities for doing a great job. Congratulations once again. A very good impression. Good impression. It's healthy now. Yeah. Because six months ago we were here, mm. but nothing moving. But now Everything was really very happy. So this Everybody is, this is like a magic? Yeah, magic, yeah, <laughs> yes. I give all congratulations to our college because congratulations. Yeah, is doing a very good job. To, congratulations very good. to? To the organized committee. Or, organizing yeah. committee. Yeah. 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 So organized your committee. committee is completely satisfied? Like yeah, completely satisfied. Completely the, 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 the sports facility is good standard. The curtain raiser event on Tuesday evening was also impressive and the visiting officials enjoyed the show. 
There's no doubt for this official about the upcoming Lusophonia Games being a memorable event. Condition for athletes, sports facilities, organization for the ceremonies, everything's much better. I, I hope you enjoyed the opening ceremony yesterday. Yeah, yes, yes, enjoy. Bureau report, prudent. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching, prudent. Goodbye. Tumi Purita, prudent. You're watching, prudent.